I'll never forget, I'll never forget that, uh, that when we were, and I looked over here just a second ago and saw this lady doing the, a, um, what do you call that? Yeah, thank you. Sign language. And, and uh, that, that just amazes me that when people know how to do that. Because, of course, I, if you cut my hands off, I couldn't talk. But, I mean, you know, she actually can. Look at there. Right on, right on. We were singing down in Florida one time and uh, at a huge church. And we got up to sing. And the lady asked me for a copy of all the lyrics that we were going to sing that night. And, of course, I don't make out a program. So I never know what we're going to do ahead of time. And I said, honey. I said, I can't give it, give it to you because I don't know what we're going to do. I said, but I do promise you that we won't do anything that you can't handle. And she said, okay. So we got up on the platform. We'd sang three or four songs, and, and I wanted to do one of those old commission songs like that. And so we sang it, and uh, she, she tried her best, you know, and uh, she couldn't uh, keep up with all the parts in the chorus. Well, then we backed up and sang the do re mi. She liked to pull every hair in her head out, you know. And <laughs> when I came down off the platform at, at, the, at, the, at the break, I walked down off that side, and she was standing at the bottom of the steps waiting on me going. <laughs> and to this day, I've not figured out exactly what the woman said, but I do know it's the only time I've ever understood sign language, you know. I knew she wasn't happy. And she made <laughs> Chris's sister uh, has written several songs for us, and uh, she's just a great writer. And, uh, a few years ago, she wrote a song that I honestly didn't think anybody would sing. And it was the only song that she ever written that I just did not like. And uh, so we didn't record it. And for the last nearly four years, every time we do an album, Chris wants to do this song. And every year it gets shot down. Well, when Rodney joined the group back in uh, the last part of December, Chris thought that since Rodney was close to his age that he could get Rodney on his side and they'd vote me out on the song. So we listened. he brought it up again. Two days before we went to do the album, he brought this song up, and I said, I don't like that song. So he let Rodney hear it, and Rodney didn't like it neither. <laughs> so he did what tenors do best. He whined. <laughs> so I figured, well, one out of ten ain't going to be bad. So we went to the studio, and we recorded this song. And uh, it features Chris. Yeah. Um, somebody asked me the other night if I enjoyed singing the song. I said, no, I feel like Chris Allman and the Pips when we do this because we don't get to sing that. But I want you to listen to Chris do this song that he loves and we hate called Who Moved. The money is gone. The rent is due. Don't know what you're gonna do. How could Jesus leave you in such obvious despair? Take a look at why you feel alone. Don't blame God for being gone. He's not the one who refused you, and He's there to hear your prayer. Who moved? Who moved when the lights grew dim? Who moved? Who moved? Are you sure it was? Do your Father's will. Who moved? Who moved? The one who promised to care. Who moved? Who moved? And said it always be there. You just might be surprised to see who moved. If there's an emptiness inside you. A void that you can't fill Open up your Bible And listen for that still small voice To call you back When you've strayed from His strong hand Then go forth in the victory Waiting for His next command Who moved, who moved when the lights grew dim? Promise 
Thank you for that sympathetic applause. 